Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Fire Force Chapter 217. Uh, when we last left our heroes, Shinra met Inka through an Adola link, it gave, and she gave him the idea to use light speed to go back in time, there's some science they don't quite understand, to see the world pre-cataclysm, uh, and he saw, uh, how do I put this, that the people pre-cataclysm were like real people and not anime people. Uh, and what the fuck was up with that? Um, also something I did not notice in my video, but Inka seems to, like, disappear before he does in the, in the pre-cataclysm world, which is kind of a weird thing that might come up or might not. Anyway, he then wakes up three months later, chained down to a bed, with five pillars risen throughout Japan, and he is Ken Kaneki. So now we got white hair Chinra. <laughs> uh, so let's jump into chapter 217, Unconscious. Uh, and our, our cover picture here seems to be, like, the, the black that's normally kept inside the box has, like, spilled out onto the page. Lost in the darkness where madness swirls, time has passed without his knowing. I am you open with Shinra, like, struggling against his restraints. I can't move. Why am I chained down like this? Um, we hear the, the newscaster again. A new pillar has emerged today, marking the fifth of the structures to emerge. Did he say the fifth? I thought it was just the first. What's going on? What just happened? Where, where am I? And then he flashes back to the modern day Tokyo that he saw, still in its, you know, weird 3D look. And that Adola link, was it just a dream? Where am I? What the hell happened after? Uh, and he looks down and sees that his, his legs are tied up. Do the white clouds get me? <sighs> They've got me bound. Damn it, come on. And he pulls against his chains. Uh, and then he hears a voice on the other side of the door. I just heard something. Sounds like he's awake. Uh, and he looks over, starts sweating. The door opens. Who's there? Who would have locked- who would have me locked up in a place like this? Uh, and it's as I kind of figured, Obi and Hinawa. Don't, and Hinawa comes in. Don't fight back. You need to calm down. Uh, and he looks at them. Captain? Lieutenant? What? Why? I just opened, opened my eyes and I'm chained up. Please tell me what's going on. Come on, let me go. Uh, and Obi kind of like holds his head in his hands. Shinra, what on earth happened to you? Uh, and Shinra like looks at him. Ever since the first pillar appeared, it's like you've been a whole different person. Wait, is he saying that Shinra's been awake this whole time? I don't... What do you mean? Uh, and Arthur then pops in. Oh, you're back. Uh, and all of them... Uh, everyone looks at Arthur. What's up, Shinra? Where have you been? Where... where have I been? So hold on, we're getting two conflicting stories here. Because Obi and Hinola are like, you've been a different person for the past three months. And Sh Arthur is like, you've been gone. So, I don't know. Uh, and then he... he, um... They like, free Shinra from his restraints. And Shinra sits up. Looks like you've settled down. Looks like you don't have any memory either. That's because the old him came back. Came back? What do you mean, Arthur? Oh, so I guess... Okay, that's something if there were any Arthur Shinra shippers in the audience. Um, you know, Arthur just immediately noticed that that there, that he's dip, that the sh old Shinra is back, and not whatever this new Shinra is. Um, Alright, I meant what I said. Lately he's been Shinra, but he hasn't been Shinra. And Obi, Obi looks at him. Was it Amaterasu that got a hold of him again? No, that's not it. It was someone I don't know. Until today, it was Shinra, but it wasn't Shinra. Uh, and Shinra looks at him and starts sweating. <laughs> you know, he looks at the mirror. Gah! What the hell? What happened to my head? What? No way. No, no, no. Why are my ears pierced? Oh, I didn't notice that, too. He's got exactly white hair and pierced ears. What happened? What happened to the precious black hair my mother gave me? Uh, and the three of them just look at him. See? Just look. Uh, and Hinola, he certainly seems to be the old Shinra. Captain, who the hell gave me this lame, wannabe, gangster-looking hair? Do you have any idea how immature and embarrassing this looks? Well, Shinra, you did it yourself. Come on, calm down. It's not that bad. I don't remember that at all. What the hell is wrong with me? What, why did I do this? When I look back on this, I know I'm going to think I'm an idiot. Like, people just follow along with every fad that thinking always end up looking ridiculous. Like, when you go out and buy stupid clothes because you think you're hot shit and you end up looking like an idiot? 
And the people who look back and think, oh man, I was so lame, are usually still lame. <laughs> and Obi's got like stoned face to this whole rant. Can't say I totally get what you mean, but well, everyone's different. Well, did you ever dye your hair, Captain? Or pierce your ears? Uh, no. I mean, it'd be weird if I did that. See? Uh, and Obi comes over to Hinoa. Yeah, he's definitely not the Shinra we've had lately. He certainly lost his composure, but he seems like the old Shinra. I think, what, what was Shinra like for these three months? I, I need to know now. Like, what the, like, he was, he's clearly a danger to himself or others because he was chained up like that, but still. Uh, and Shinra kind of, like, calms down. I lost time. I wasn't myself. Uh, and Shinra kind of looks away. What, what was I like? Uh, and Obi, Obi is just... Well, to put it simply, it was like you had a late-onset period of Teenage Rebellion. You were pretty harsh. Uh, okay. I don't know, I don't really know what to deal with this alternate personality Shinra thing. Uh, anyway. Uh, Shinra just takes a moment and then says, I need a minute to myself. I'm gonna go fix my hair and think. Uh, and then he starts to, like wash his hair out, and I guess the dye just washes right out, because it switches to black really fast. It's like, the mem it's like the memory is just gone. Another personality was living my life without me knowing? Uh, and uh, Vulcan walks over, what's up? It was such a pain getting your hair right, now you're dying it, dying it back? Uh, yeah, Shinra is back to his, you know, black-haired self. Uh, still has, oh, he also is like, he's tattooed now. Uh, I got a shoulder tattoo with what looks like the Pusu Pusu, maybe, a little bit. Um, and he has this kind of thing on his, uh, his ankle. Uh, you don't remember? Well, I don't know how to say this, but you're not going to be able to get rid of the tattoos. And Shinra looks at him, the what? The tattoos I put on your legs. They're not going to go away. The what on my what? Oh, no. <laughs> ah, no! Why, why would... Vulcan, what did you do to me? Uh, and Vulcan just looks at him. I mean, you asked for them. Several times. Please return to me the precious body my mother gave me. La Tome. Uh, and Vulcan sighs. The old Shinra's back, all right. Uh, and and uh, Vulcan just puts his hand on Arthur's shoulder. This guy noticed something was off right away. And, and he understood what it was, too. Arthur, you... Yep, he's Shinra, all right. Uh, and Arthur, Shinra like, grabs him by the shoulder. Oh, Arthur, thank God for good friends. <laughs> and they look at each other for a moment, and he turns away and blushes. You, you're not my friend, though. <laughs> what is this Victor pose? Victor just, like, jumps down and sits. Wah! Sounds like you had a valuable experience again, Shin Raccoon. Tell me about it! Tell you about it? Tell you what? If anything, I'm the one with the questions. When I was knocked unconscious, I saw the past. And in the meantime, three months passed. I have no idea what happened. Uh, and Victor looks at him. You have no memory beyond going to stop the pillar? I looked into the past. I opened my eyes, and it was now. I, I opened my eyes, and it was now. What the hell happened? The hair, the piercing, the tattoos. The normal me wouldn't have done any of that. Uh, and yeah, we get a shot of, like, edgelord, white-haired Ken Kaneki Shinra. Uh, which I know is a bad comparison, as I said it, but shut up, I'm going with it. Uh, and Arthur looks at him, right, that Shinra wasn't you. Th uh, and Victor replies, the tattoos, piercings, and fashion choices weren't the only unusual behaviors. The things you did, the old you never would have done. Problematic behavior and direct violation of orders. Problematic behavior? What's that supposed to mean? What exactly did I, things that must not be done? And Shinra looks at him, Come on, don't scare me like that. You assaulted the sister. Okay. Uh, to be continued, chapter 218, The Shadowy Figure. No chapter next week due to Golden Week. Um, all right, so my um, thoughts on sexuality in Fire Force are well noted, and that it generally does not end up working very well for Fire Force. Uh, I've made that very clear over hundreds of Fire Force videos at this point. Uh, so, You Assaulted the Sister is, like, not vibing with that plot line. Especially, it's a chance it means, like, a physical assault. Like, you fought her. 
but my my first thought was like a sexual assault. Um, though there was no, again, direct confirmation of that, and now that I've had a moment to think about it, I do hope it's more a physical assault, uh, just because maybe Okubo can write that storyline better than, you know, uh, Shinra sexually assaulted Iris, or, you know, alternate Shinra sexually assaulted Iris, or whoever the fuck was inhabiting Shinra's body for three months. I don't know what the deal is there. Um, but yeah, honestly, this chapter did not give us a lot of the um, the answers I was hoping for. Um, I'm gonna, gonna put away that last page for now, uh, just because I can't really comment on it until I see next chapter. Uh, I was gonna be in two weeks because of Golden Week. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not even like a Shinra gets used to the new world now. It's more like the rest of the gang realizes that Shinra is back. Um, and now, like, they're getting Shinra up to speed with what he's been doing, which wasn't really the mystery last chapter left off on. It was kind of a new thing. It just kind of popped up. Um, so, yeah, this is not the what the fuck chapter of last time, of course. Nothing really ever could be. Um... I don't know. I didn't love this chapter even before um, that last page. Um, like, read undying um, Shinra's hair just kind of feels like it feels to me like a step. Like, like, last chapter did something really daring. You know, Shinra's unconscious for three months. Five pillars are here. Now he has white hair and he's seen the past and the past is fucking weird. Uh, and Sure, they, they undid the most minor of those things, but there's a part of me that's worried that that might be symbolic of undoing this. I don't know how they could possibly undo the other things there, and so I don't really think they will, but a part of me is kind of nervous that, like, maybe, you know, the chain, the big what-the-fuck change that last chapter promised might not be as what-the-fuck as I was kind of hoping. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Um... Beyond that, I don't know. There's just not a whole lot to get into. Um, like, we have this, you know, violent alternate Shinra, but no real... Like, I'm trying to think of who he could be. Like, there aren't really any of the other pillars he could be, unless maybe Hashirame... Hiro Hashirame was inhabiting his body for three months, but I don't know. This doesn't really seem like... I mean, she's enough of, a, of an unknown that I can't really get a vibe for her yet. But I don't know. This isn't really the vibe I have of her and her limited appearances. Uh, it's definitely not Haumea. Um, so I don't think Haumea would just kind of be a dick for three months. Uh, definitely not Sho. Or could it be Inka? That would be weird. But if there's any pillar whose vibe, you know dyed hair, ears pierced, tattoo, um, Shinra is, it's closest to Inka. And, and Inka was the one who brought him to the past, and her form kind of, like, dissipated when he went back to the past. I don't, if, if, if Shinra's been possessed by a pillar for three months, it was Inka. But I don't think Inka is really crafty enough to keep, to keep the fact that she's in, that, she, that she's Inca hidden for three months. I don't really think she would do that. I don't think she's really capable of that, uh, at least from what we've seen of her. So I don't know. It's just a lot of mysteries. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait, wait two weeks to find out where we go from here. What, what exactly happened to Iris? Again, hoping it's more of a physical assault than a sexual assault because... I don't think this is a series that can respectfully handle sexual assault in the slightest. Um, but yeah, I'm, that's all I have to say for this chapter. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video itself. If you did, please drop me a like or subscribe, you know, do whatever makes you happy, you know? And remember, your life is your own, okay? Bye!